Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits homebrew video. So today, <clears throat> I'm draining out, it's two weeks ago, so it was Sunday, this is what you class as day 15 really. Um, yeah, two weeks ago I put this brew, a strawberry stout brew, on to um, ferment. Um, using Wilco's um, Velvet Stout, their core stout mix. And then also, after a couple of days, I added um, a litre and a half of Tate and Lyle strawberry syrup. Um, let me quick show you inside the barrel while it's um, draining. And as you can see, very dark, you know. Um, I think it needs time to, um, what's the word, it needs time to clear. Um, I'm going to give it a try today and hopefully there's some taste of um, strawberry left in it. You know, if there isn't, I'll be gutted. You know, I've just all I've done is just added more sugar to the content. Um, I'm putting it into a barrel, let me show you the barrel. Ugh. There's the barrel. So I put it into a barrel now. I'm going to add um, this 20 odd litres, 24 litres. So I'll add a spoon of sugar. I'm getting a whiff of strawberry from it. Not massive, you know, it's not exactly smacks you in the mouth strawberry, but there's a, there's a whiff. As long as it smells of strawberry and not sour, or, you know, something horrible, you know, that's, that's what the main thing. And it's drinkable. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to add the sugar into the barrel, so after, this will be afterwards, and um, then we'll, you know, um, tomorrow I'll start bottling, I'm not going to do all the bottling today because it's a ball ache job, but um, yeah, add the sugar into the barrel, give it a good stir, move that sugar around, it will start the secondary fermentation off a bit and then I'll transfer it all, because it's in, a, it's in a barrel, it's dead easy for me then to transfer it all to bottles. I haven't got one of these fermenters with a, with a tap on the fermenter, some people have, you know, they're dead handy. But uh, with this anyway, I'll transfer it all to bottles tomorrow and, well, you know, we'll see what happens with it. Um, you never know until you never know until you you know you get that first drink. Um, I should have a good indication today of what it should taste like, and uh, hopefully the you know all the sh strawberry elements that I added hasn't disappeared. You know, one never knows. Now we're just dropping below nine liters now, so that's good. Move this lid. Because obviously towards the end you have to tip it up. I mean really I need to buy some new equipment because me uh, the tube that I use for you know draining it's it's bloody bent. All them years of trying to wash it in the sink and in a small sink and at that. And, uh, you know, you should be able to stick this thing on the side of the red thing, stick your tube in, and it all drains automatically, you know, no messing about. But, uh, hey, -oh, there's always a... Never want to do it the easy way. All right, first things first, move some glasses. Now, I'm also going to barrel, barrel up the pruned wine today. And so, uh, obviously, I won't be adding sugar to that, because uh, you obviously don't, but... Um, so, going down nicely. Now obviously whenever you um, drain your own brew, you've always got to be wary that you're not going to um, get any sediment. I mean, it's not that clear at the moment anyway, so I presume it's going to take, it does say it takes up to 21 days. It's like a hint of strawberry. 
you know. I mean, that might be good. It might be good that it's not too much, but until I get my laughing gear on it, my teeth, um, I don't know. Now on the prune side of things, I'm not going to do a full video where I'm showing people how, how, how it drains because it's a pain. We'll do a quick uh, mini uh, review. Same with this one, I'll do a quick uh, review of, um, and, you know, just to see what the taste is like, if it's, if it's actually drinkable in any way, shape or form. It won't be, it won't have any sparkles to it. You know, it won't have any carbonation or lacing, so that's an element that will come on the secondary fermentation. But it's so slow draining it, you know, it's, um, What a difference in weather. Yesterday, it's like 23 degrees in the shade. It's landing like 27, 28 degrees, beautiful weather. Today, it's absolutely chucking it down. It's, it's like dark at three in the afternoon, which is ridiculous. Autumn is definitely here. Goose, good um, goose, wear, goose fair weather as well. Right, I've got one hand watching the where the pipe is, one hand watching the barrel because obviously I don't want to overflow the barrel, but obviously I want to make sure that I get enough in. You know. And then this I'll review it after a couple of weeks, and then probably give it till Christmas to do. Uh, a, a, a true review because obviously like like all beers wines ciders once when they age they get better i've got to say not much sediment in here really to say if, if i could pick the camera up without disturbing this i'd be all right but i can't Luckily we're only a minute or two now away from being able to have a, have a little taste and see how it, uh, how it plays. Yes, very little sediment off this. Conscious that when I, in the barrel below, I've got to be conscious I've got to add that 24 spoons of sugar, which is a fair bit of sugar, you know. Spoon per bottle. And then later on tonight I've got that lovely job of washing out 25 bottles. Why do I use bottles instead of barreling? Because once you crack open a barrel then you've either got to add carbonate, um, you know, carbon dioxide or whatever. And it's much easier, you know, or you've got to drink it within two weeks. And trust me, I don't want to be drinking the same beer for two weeks. It just uh, kills you. Right. And that's it. So, can I get in? Get the lid on this. And, uh, First tasting, nice clean glass. So it did have a, actually have a little head on it to be fair. Um, obviously very black, can't see any carbonation or lacing. I presume it needs to clear a little bit more. faintest bit of a head on it on the nose nothing nothing on the nose elements are stout certainly no strawberry wow 
Right, to say, it, to say it's not got any secondary fermentation in it, which it needs, you know, it needs to age that a bit. Um, it, it's drinkable. It's... Oh. It's worked. The strawberry is there. It's not as potent as I probably would have liked it. Uh, whether that comes out in the secondary fermentation, I don't know. Um, it's a proper decent stout. <laughs> Day one, you know, uh, from barreling. That blend of strawberry and um, coffee, chocolate, it's all there, you know. Okay, so maybe you're better off adding the strawberry towards the end of the brew rather than at the start of the brew or even after. From things I've read, they add, people say to add it after fermentation. You know, now, basically. And let the secondary fermentation take care of the um, getting rid of some of the, the elements of it out. So that's an interesting thing. All, this was an experiment, you know. And look, it didn't cost me too much anyway. Best part of 16 quid. Um, but from day one. Definitely some nice, there's a good strength to it. Um, 4% was the supposed strength. I would say it's more five and a half. Um, you know, as a guess, anyway. But yeah, it's a nice kit the Wilco's kit is. So whatever you do to play around with it, you know, I think it's an interesting kit to play around with. Whether you want to make it, a, you know, put cocoa powder and make it a lot more chocolatey. Um, or, get a, you know, a jar of coffee and a bit of hot water, get rid of, you know, mix it up in the hot water, add the coffee to it. You know, even at this stage, the after stage. So there's definitely strawberry there. It's not a full on fruit beer, you know, I didn't think it was gonna get that far anyway, to be fair. Um, if you compare it to plum porters, the plum porters that are about out, you can really taste the plum in that. You can taste the strawberry in this, but it's not. Uh, I did a review of Fraser, Fraser, the uh, Form Bridge Brewery and Four Pure Breweries, a collaboration brew, and that it looks like a normal beer, but it's a strawberry milkshake IPA, and you can taste the strawberry in that. Although it does change in the taste, does change in it. Um, so, it's worked anyway. The main thing is, I've got a, a barrel of something that I can actually drink. Um, the strawberry's there, more in the background, but is that a bad thing? I don't know. Uh, for me, I'd have I'd, I'd liked for more strawberry. But that's because the way I am. Um, there's a good taste to it. You know, the, the stout flavours are all there, very present. And then just with that added strawberry on top, about five and a half percent. That's what it tastes like to me, and that's with, without secondary fermentation. And obviously, I'll be adding a dob more sugar to each bottle. Um, you know, and that also increases a little bit anyway. The um, the alcohol content, but um, yeah, it's okay for an experiment brew. I'm happy. I'm happy that it's worked and it's not it's not crap. And uh, yeah. Hmm. So out of five, you know, like a, a pre-review of sorts. Um, I'm gonna give it. Hmm, it's difficult. Um, I'm gonna give it a. At the moment, a four point one out of five. 
all the elements are there, just need to let it mature now. But happy, very happy and relieved. Next up, the prune juice experiment. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm nervous all this anyway, so that's one good thing. Right, see you soon.